up, guys? I got an iPhone. Hey, Siri, call my girlfriend. And she's going to say which one. La da 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 da. <laughs> Hey right, guys, I'm out here by my air conditioner. First thing I'm going to want to do is disconnect the power here. All right, guys, there is the capacitor right there. You can see how it's bubbled up on top there. It's rounded. It's all rusted. There's three connections on top. Fuse, plug it back in. And hopefully everything out here will kick in. There we go. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a cloudy, going to be rainy, as I will show you here in a second if you look over that way. <clears throat> That's what's coming my way right now. It's uh, 93 degrees today. But anyway, just got done replacing the capacitor in my AC unit, which I'm sure you've previously seen already. Um, Started right up, kicked everything on. It actually dropped the temperature in the house a lot quicker than the old one was because see, as those go out, the power storage in those things is not um, adequate enough for it to run at peak efficiency. So with the new capacitor, it's keeping the high consistent power to the compressor, which is what cools the air essentially. So yeah, it cooled that down four degrees in a matter of 20 minutes. It hasn't done that in a long time, <laughs> in a long time. But anyway, <sighs> Yeah, it's getting ready to rain here. I wanted to get that done before it started raining. But anyway, that's all fixed. Um, I just ordered another one. It was $17 off of Amazon. Now, an AC company, if they come out, they will charge you, I think I already told you this, about $150, $250 bucks to do that quick job. Order one. If you know what kind you got, order one. Keep it at your house. It's a simple repair. A neighbor can do it. Any somewhat handyman can do it. It's very simple. Just watch a couple YouTube videos. And you can get it done but anyway i did get good news i did get this morning a phone call confirming that i'm going to be starting my new job on monday they uh, said all the paperwork went through all of the uh the background check the drug test everything came through good they sent me a packet which i got to do later on this afternoon um the onboard paperwork filling out all your forms and all that kind of stuff they said it's going to take probably about 45 minutes to an hour so i'm going to sit down this afternoon at my desk in my office go through all that fill all that out get that all done they're going to call me back she said thursday or friday today's tuesday thursday or friday to confirm everything make sure everything is good to go and i'll start my new job monday morning don't know what time yet I'm guessing 8 o'clock, which means I got to leave here probably by 7 because it's all the way in Apopka, which on a regular traffic, no volume day, is about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. So I might have to leave, I don't know, maybe I'll leave 645, 650 just to make sure I get there on time, see how traffic is. Haven't drove in rush hour traffic on the highway in <laughs> several years, but I'll figure it out. <clears throat> I'll get it all uh sort it out and everything but yeah that's a good news so i'm gonna go do that here in a little bit in this afternoon to uh fill out all that paperwork get all that done and with that being said it is a very muggy i just heard my ac kick on again so it looks like it's going through a cycle i'm letting it run through a couple cycles just to make sure everything is good but yeah that's it for now guys later all right guys we got a bad one coming in now Wind is blowing, you can see there. Get blown down the street. Looking at the radar, it's all red. But yeah, we got, this is gonna be a bad one here for a little bit. It's gonna be a bad one here for a little bit. But I knew it was coming. That's why I wanted to get the AC fixed. I knew it was coming. So see what happens hopefully everything will pass over really quick and everything will be okay later you know I've been through several hurricanes and this looks like the start of a hurricane coming in very very windy rain blowing down the street this is a bad cell coming through here guys this is a very bad cell coming through here lightning thunder see that tree over there blowing like crazy you see the flag flying 
That garbage can across the street got knocked over already. Yeah, there's some more lightning. Uh, yeah, this... Now, it's moving very fast. It should only be here probably about another 20 minutes or so, which, yeah, is kind of a long time, but it's moving fast. It's a huge, huge system, but it's moving very fast. So hopefully I, we'll get through this and nothing will happen. Maybe my roof will get blown off. I doubt it to get a new one through insurance, but who knows? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, this is... Uh, bunch of sirens I'm hearing too this is like the fourth or fifth siren thing so there must be I just hope I don't lose power but we'll see what happens later guys good afternoon everybody today's project I'm going to be putting this new switch in where this switch is here now that is the switch that turns the light on to my pool which is out there now that switch is kind of a little bit loose a little bit wobbly I don't think that's why the light ain't working. I think it popped because there was last year, I turned it on, the light popped on for a second and then it uh, blew out. But this is the first step in replacing that light. I wanna replace this switch here first and then I'm going to replace the light, which I told you guys I was gonna do last year. Never got around to it. So I'm gonna do it this year. I'm also gonna do a how-to video on it. But first step is replacing this switch. I already got the power off, so let me get you set up and I'm gonna pull that switch out and get it started. That last bit was on time lapse. But anyway, um, the power is back on. You can see the outside lights are on. That's what this switch is. So if I flip that, that goes off. And then this one should go out to the pool light, which the pool light still doesn't go on because I'm pretty sure the light is popped. So with that being said, my next step for the pool light procedure is I'm going to check uh, the wires out there by the junction box just to make sure they're pushing 24 volts and not more. Maybe thinking that the transformer might be busted because the transformer dropped it down to 24 volts. Those lights and pulls are only 24 volts. So I'm gonna check the wiring out there, not today, a different day. Check the wiring out there, make sure it's 24 volts, and then I'll pull the light out and replace the light. I've had the light for over a year now, so. That's it for today, guys. Later. Good Friday afternoon, everybody. It was a rainy, rainy overnight and all morning. We must have got like five, six inches of rain this morning. But sun is out now. It is partly cloudy. It is very, very muggy. It is about 93 degrees out right now. But it is very, very muggy because of all the rain we've had. We've had nothing but rain pretty much all week. The last six days. Rain. Every single day. Huh put a bird bath out there okay I think that's what that is strange right in the middle of a lawn like that anyway <clears throat> people are weird anyway it is my uh, my last Friday off <laughs> for probably quite a while because uh, coming up on Monday I start the new job at uh, the company's called USIC what they are they're underground um, util utility locators they um, like if you call like certain places, it's 811, other places, I think it's like 211 or something like that. Then the electric company and them send out these people to go and draw, put the paint mark on the ground where your wires are, where your uh, sewer pipes are, where your cable lines are at, your phone lines. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be a locator. Um, from what I understand, I don't know yet, but from what I understand, it's for construction site and homeowners. Um, you go there, you tell them where all the stuff is buried underground, and then you leave, go to your next job. But I will find out more on Monday when I get in there. Got a report there at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's all the way in Apopka, which kind of sucks because that's I got to leave at least an hour uh, early in the morning. I need to be there at 8. It means I got to leave at the latest by 7 because with traffic that time in the morning, I've been checking it the past couple mornings, getting up early, checking it. It's about 45, 50 minutes to get there with 
you know normal rush hour traffic so i'm gonna have to leave early but that's okay um got three to four weeks of training then i need to take a test if i pass that test then i can actually become an employee at a company go out with the supervisors and everything and start actually being trained in the field i guess from what they say i don't know but i'll find out um i'm looking forward to it i really am be uh, kind of an easy job a lot of walking um from what i understand i have to wear those boot things which i've been wearing them the past several days i think the ones i got are good they're not really hurting my feet like when i had to buy the ones for ups <laughs> those things are terrible but uh but anyway yeah that's it today i did uh shot a bunch of taste test challenges to get myself caught up because i'm not sure how busy i'm going to be coming up in the next week starting to work and all that stuff so i got that done i got the next two around the houses done already so that's all caught up so i'm at least i don't have to worry about anything for about two weeks and then i'll have to start getting back into putting clips down and all that kind of stuff but i've got everything set for around the house i got everything set for about two more weeks um which you've probably already seen but uh and then the taste test challenges i think i have just about two months i think i got seven or eight done so i got about two months eight weeks so anyway guys that's it i'm going to uh enjoy my last friday off here i know this is getting kind of long i'm going to enjoy my last friday off i'm gonna i don't know i ordered pizza last night so i gotta i don't know what i'm gonna do buddy's having a barbecue tomorrow going over there tomorrow it's probably gonna rain again it's supposed to rain later today it's supposed to rain saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday we're in that pattern we got that low stuck above us we've been in a rain pattern i've drained my pool three times in the last two weeks i guess it needs to be drained again but i'm not doing it today i'm gonna wait till maybe sunday but anyway guys that's it for now i'm going to go sit down and relax later guys Good Monday afternoon everybody. There is a plane flying above my flag. Little prop plane as you can see it. It is a hot 94 degree day today. They said by Wednesday which is two days from now it's supposed to be 98 degrees with a heat index of about 111 to 115. We're in for some heat this week. We're really in for some heat. Anyway, just wanted to tell you, just got back first day at the new job, USIC. Hold on, check this out. They already gave gave out some stuff. So here, let me put you here. Check this out. <laughs> check this out. I got my safety vest already, which is this. And the back has got the locator thing and all that stuff. I don't know how well you can see that, but I think I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the vest. But yeah, I got my vest. Now, they said that tomorrow I'm going to be getting a phone and a tablet, which they said I wasn't getting uh, before then. But then after that, they said probably by the end of the week, we might be getting the trucks to take home, which they originally told me over the phone. They told me that that wasn't going to happen until after three months. But he was saying today if he can get everything to go through all the paperwork and everything to go through we might get our trucks by the end of the week then we won't have to drive our personal cars into the office for the classes anymore also i get immediate holiday benefits because like next tuesday is july 4th so they're going to be paying me for that i'm going to get eight hours for that day because that stuff starts immediately the only things that i have to wait is for the health insurance and all that kind of stuff i have to sign up within the first 30 days i haven't gotten the information on how to sign up for that yet but i'll probably get that this week sometime and then i'll sign up for that for the health insurance i think i might take the dental too because it's only like 12 dollars a month and i haven't been to a dentist in a while so i might i might end up doing that 
They also have vision, which I don't think I'm going to need right now. Initially off the bat, I can always add it later. But yeah, but the first day, it seemed pretty good. It seemed pretty good. The support team that's around there, they, they emphasize that and how good that was. If you ever have any problem, feel unsafe. Don't feel like going into a trench or into a sewer for whatever reason. Call your supervisor. They'll tell you to leave, go on to the next one. If it's unsafe, they'll tell you to get out of there. They'll reschedule it with a uh, state trooper or some other type of uh, 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 escort into a property or into an area or something. Seems seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Now, this has only been day one, okay? But from day one, seems pretty good. I got my vest. Tomorrow I'll be getting the, the company phone and the company tablet. And possibly by the end of the week the company truck but i will keep you updated as we go but as of right now it's first day not too bad not too bad at all i'm gonna leave you with the flag flying on this 94 degree day and i will talk to you guys later what is up everybody i don't know why this keeps happening to me but this is now the third time it has happened to me for some reason and i don't know why i'm out here by the pool pump for some reason, now I just started working full time again yesterday. Pool pump is not working. Third time that's happened. I can be home all the time and it runs perfectly fine. It, this is now the third time that as soon as I get a job and start working at full time, the pool pump doesn't work and I don't know why. So I'm going to open this up. It's got the power on there. Let me see if I kick it on here. Nope, I got nothing. I got nothing. Alright, I am going to have to, maybe, hopefully, remember last time it was just the little switch in the back of that, the little knob? <clears throat> maybe that's what it is. I'm going to try to dive into checking that now, but I will let you know in a future clip later. Well, Alright guys. It was that switch again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. This one right there. You see it? That one right there, that black one right there. It was loose. Flipped it back and forth a couple times. It is not working again. Well, at least I know what it is now. Pretty simple, pretty easy fix. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to super shocked that with uh, chlorine because I think it just stopped yesterday I didn't notice it on yesterday I'm pretty sure it was on Sunday but I think it just stopped yesterday but I'm gonna try I'm gonna shock it let it run through its cycle today tomorrow hopefully it'll be good again later guys